Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Happy Healthy Household. So, yay, I'm doing a blog. Um, um, so, yeah, one of my goals this month was to get a blog every week up and make some shorter ones so I could make that happen. Um, didn't work out so well. Um, but that's okay. Um, I've got quite a few that I'm planning and that I've got lined up, so I should be able to get them up more frequently now that I have them planned. Um, so yeah, I'll make that my goal again for November. Um, I'm in my workout gear and I got my mat out and I'm about to do my workout, so that's good. I've been slacking a little bit for this last bit of October, um, but we'll talk about that in the progress vlog at the beginning of November coming up soon um, but for right now <clears throat> I want to do oh first of all say I hope you went and read Becky's newest vlog that she just got up yesterday about making your goals and then writing down your goals and then achieving your goals just do it um, and it really helped me it's really gotten me up and working out today because this is like I said the first day that I've worked out in um, like a week because um, a couple things in her vlog stuck with me um, when she said that uh, a quote about a good day is only a workout away and it's so true I have such a better day <clears throat> when I do a workout I mean things can still go wrong in your day and that's a workout's not gonna stop that but I'm just talking about like energy wise you feel um, more upbeat and have more energy and just feel better so I have to remember that and start getting up early again and doing my workouts also another thing that stuck with me that uh, Becky said was to not think about it don't overthink it just get up and just do it um, so that's what I got to do too just get up in the morning don't think about it just do it get on the mat get your workout done and she also said that when you you know halfway through your workout you start feeling good and then you forget that you were even you know too tired or it just feels so good. So yeah, your vlog really helped me, Becky. Thank you. Um, I loved it. Uh, so get on there and read her vlog, everybody. Um, so anyways, for this one, um, I wanted to actually uh, respond to one of Becky's earlier blogs um, where she was talking about the simple things that make her happy. It really is the most important thing in life and really what you have to focus on when, you know, big things are going bad or you're dealing with some issues and You've always got those little things that are good, and you have to focus on that. Um, so I've made a list of my uh, little things that make me happy. Now, keep in mind, like, as I'm writing these and coming up with these, I'm thinking they're more, um, like, fall-oriented <laughs> of little things that make me happy during fall. And I guess probably when I'm in a different season, other things make me happy. So maybe I could do another one of these of little things make me happy in a different season another vlog for later maybe but <clears throat> um anyways so some of those that are kind of fall related um is the sound of rain um that's one little thing that just always makes me happy the sound of rain even like um when i'm on my break at work sometimes i'll go sit in my car and i'll read my book and it's raining and you can hear the sound of the rain on the car um even if you're in a tent the sound of rain on a tent the sound of rain on the window i just love hearing the sound of rain um, it's very relaxing, very soothing, um, and especially when you're nice and cozy inside, or if it's even like stormy and windy um, and rainy, it's so nice to be all cozy inside in your nice warm clothes with hot chocolate in your bed. It just, it makes you feel happy, makes you feel good, and I love it. Um, thunderstorms. I love falling asleep to thunderstorms and hearing thunderstorms outside. We don't get a lot here, which is kind of disappointing. Um, in Alberta, when I lived there, we got so many. It's one thing I miss about Alberta. Um, but yeah, I like that so much that uh, actually Joel and I used to, um, we used to put it on YouTube when we were going to sleep, sounds of thunderstorms, and just listen to it as we fall asleep. Maybe I'll have to start doing that again. Um, but yeah, it's just so relaxing, and, uh, it's one of those little things that makes you happy. Um... And coming back to like, you want to be inside and cozy. I love cozy things. Like I love um, onesies. I'm obsessed with onesies right now. I've got one onesie. I want to get another onesie with like a hood. Becky's got a really great one with a, it's like leopard print. And it's got a hood and ears and it's so cute. 
um i want one of those i just love onesies because they're so cozy and i love being cozy in this season um yeah uh what else is cozy uh i love um when you get into bed if you put a hot water bottle in your bed like maybe a couple hours before you go to bed and then you get into bed and it's nice and warm um whenever i stay at my mom's house she always surprises me and I, well not really surprised anymore, but I love it. I get into bed and there's a hot water bottle waiting for me. It's one of the, maybe that's why it's one of those things that I enjoy too, because it's like, it reminds me of my mom, something she's always done for us. Just, you know, if we're ever feeling down or sick or she just put a hot water bottle in her bed. It'd be so nice to get in and be nice and cozy and warm. Um, <clears throat> hot baths I love. Um, and it's the relaxation part of that, just feeling relaxed. I like to get like the aromatherapy. <clears throat> um, bath bubble stuff and listen to my music and put on candles that's just one of the, the best things in the world you just feel so relaxed and um it's great on a hard day and I've made that um my routine for Monday because Monday is my last rest day before I start my workouts again so I'm making that my bath night too where I rest my muscles and just relax before I start on my workout week again um okay um a few things about simple things in fall that make me happy too is um well taking walks in fall I mean fall is just as I would say it's one of the prettiest seasons with leaves turning and leaves changing um it's one of the simple things if you're ever feeling down or um worried or just anything go for a walk outside in fall and it just it soothes you especially I like um just kind of maybe like six or seven o'clock at night when it's like starting to get a little bit darker and it's a little the air is kind of brisk but it's still warmish and I just love that and the smells um just really makes me happy um yeah and then um also the scenery just driving home I love well especially here on the island it's beautiful here um but I love my drive home from work I I live in Nanaimo and I drive to Nanus which is about it takes me about maybe 15 minutes but um I drive and I can you go past the ocean and now with like the ocean and then all the trees turning color there's like um, actually a certain part where you're you know kind of flat and you see like the water and then the trees are lining it and I just love it it's my favorite part of the drive home and it makes me feel good it makes me feel relaxed and I look forward to it every day um so yeah that pretty much takes care of all the fall little simple things that make me happy um some other things just regular things it's kind of a weird one but you might understand um is little kids running um i take out the garbage at work and sometimes the kids want to come with me so i take the kids with me and it's the little like two and a half year olds three year olds with their diapers on and the way they run because i mean it must be hard to try and run in a diaper um if you've ever seen it, it's just the cutest thing. But it's not just that. It's the way they run with such joy and just, just, they're just, everything is good. It's, they just keep things simple and the way they run, it's just so joyful. Like they just are happy to be alive and happy to be out. And it just really makes you happy. It makes you smile. Um, so yeah, those are a few of my things that, uh, if I'm ever having a bad day, or if I'm ever, you know, dealing with something, I just remind, I remember the little things, of the things that make you happy, you know. Um, and then, of course, there's the things, you know, like family and friends and my husband um, that keep me going, too. They're the, they're not the little things, they're the big things, but um, they're the things you have to concentrate on, uh, the things that always make you happy. Uh, when you're feeling down or when you're not having a good day. So remember that. Um, so yeah, there's my little two cents on the little things that make you happy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get to my workout now and progress shots are coming up soon. I'm going to try and get maybe a couple more vlogs up before the end of this month too. Got a couple more planned. So look for those. And again, yeah, check out Becky's newest vlog, and we will see you guys soon. Bye for now.